If you have a moderator variable in your study, you must have to mean center the independent variable and the moderator variable or variables to enable you to create the interaction terms. So in this video, I want to explain this to you, how you can do that and go on to conduct your analysis. Hello and welcome to my tutorial. So in this tutorial, I want to explain to you how you can uh, mean center the independent variables in your study and then go on to create the interaction terms to enable you to test moderator effects in your study. So this is an SPSS um, um, interface and then these are the data that I've already coded into the SPSS. Remember, these are the, the Likert scale data that I have collected and I've already transformed them. You know how we transform data, Likert scale data into continuous variable. Uh, you can look up to see the video pop up or you can go down the video description box to see how you can transform, convert the, the Likert scale responses. Here I have one to eight. You see how you can convert that into a single continuous variable to enable you conduct parametric tests like linear regression analysis. All right. So in this video, I'm going to um, center the variables and then go on to create the interaction term for the moderator variable. All right. OK, so sit relax and watch the tutorial It's pretty short and pretty simple to enable you understand this. Since I have already converted the, the variables, so um, so I've got two independent variables here. So I have the surface and the deep as surface learning and deep learning as my independent variables. And I have choice independence and good supervision as my moderator variables in the relationship between the deep learning, surface learning and work engagement. Okay, among students. All right, so to do this, what I need to do is to go to analyze. Um, I'll go to um, the frequency. So I'm going to put the, the variables I want. So I want this, my first independent. This is my second independent variable. And this is my uh, first moderator variable. This is my second moderator variable. Then I will go here. Uh, what I just want is just the mean, and I want the standard deviation. Okay, only I don't need this both, so my focus is just on this on the mean. So, what I need to do is to head back to the uh to the SPSS and then I, I'll go to transform. So, this is compute variable. Now, what I need to do is to start creating first to mean center the variables when I'm done mean centering the variables and I can now go on to create the interaction terms to enable me to conduct the interact the moderation effect of the moderator okay so simply I will come here the first variable I want to mean center is the surface learning so I will come here and write surface center okay and then I'll put the surface learning here I minus it from the mean. So I'll go to so the output of the SPSS. So this is the surface. This is the mean. Okay. Um, I will simply highlight to copy the mean. Control C. And then come back to the SPSS and paste the mean. And then I would say, okay. So that has created the mean center. You can see compute. These are the functions. These are the, um, the instructions and it has been computed. Then the next one is I'll go back to compute variable. Uh, the next variable I want to compute is deep learning. OK, then I will remove this. I'll go back to the uh, 
the deep, the continuous variable that I have created. Remember, I have uh, I have deep one, deep two, three, and four, so which has been converted into the uh, a continuous variable called the deep learning. Okay, then I will minus it with the uh, I will minus this with the mean. So I'll go to the mean of okay so the mean is um deep so i'll copy and then i'll paste then i will create say okay the next one i'll go back again to compute i want to create the moderator variables now so the first one is choice i want to mean center the choice and then I will go and create that. So this is the choice as a moderator number one. And I will subtract it from the mean. This is the choice. Control C, Control V. I've pasted the mean here. And I'll click OK. Then I'll copy again. Uh, that is supervision. Supervision is another moderator variable that i have so this is the mean for supervision so i copy that um, i will select supervision here and then i will subtract it from its own mean now when i go to the spss you can see that new variables have been computed so you can see that um, in the SPSS, I've computed the variables. So you can see this is the surface learning centered, uh, deep learning centered, the choice centered, and um, supervision centered. So the next thing I need to do at this point is to create the interaction term. Okay. And how do I create the interaction term? I will go back to compute variable again. And then I will now... Uh, because you know that interaction is simply the independent the independent variable multiplied by the uh, moderator gives you the interaction term. So um, this is the first one is supervision centered. Okay, let me begin with surface. Okay, so the first one is surface multiply surface underscore. Uh, surface multiplied by um, choice which is the first moderator so i'm going to have the centered now it is the mean centered variables that you will now start using no longer the normal ones so now our focus is now on the mean centered variables so the first one is the surface centered multiplied by um the choice center that is the independent variable here surface learning multiplied by the moderator choice independence that forms the interaction term so i will click ok so i've created the first interaction the second interaction will be deep learning deep learning uh so i'm going to insert deep learning here Remember, the mean centered deep learning, not the normal deep learning here. The mean centered deep learning. Then I will create. Then the second one is deep learning by supervision. Remember that supervision is also my moderator too. Then supervision, that's the second moderator, creates. So let us go to the SPSS and see the variables created. So you can see we have created, okay, the first one here is the interaction of surface and choice, deep and choice, and then deep and supervision. And then uh, it's going to be uh, surface and supervision. So I'm going to create surface and supervision. So I'm going to create surface learning and supervision. So that is the last one. Surface centered and supervision. Okay, so I have created the interaction terms for my moderator variables, the interaction between the 
uh, independent and the moderator variable. So at this point, what do I need to do? If I want to conduct, um, uh, let's say, uh, multiple linear regression with uh, multiple interaction, so what do I need to do? I will come to linear at this point, then I will uh, insert, let's say, I insert my first independent var uh, dependent variable, and then now instead of using the surface learning, so I'm going to use the centered one as my independent variables okay so these are my independent variables and then uh i will now use my enter i will put my my moderator variables in and then i will insert my interaction terms in and then if i want i can create more uh make it more robust and then go on to click on analyze and then you can see the results that um, that, that I've got here. Okay, if I want to do uh, hierarchical regression analysis in this case, what do I need to do? I will I will go through this route. I will say I'll first impute my independent variables, or if I have if I have the uh, control variables, for example, I think I've got age and I've got gender here. I first insert these two, and I will go to next. That's for hierarchical regression analysis. Then I will go back here and pick up surface and deep learning as my independent variable. And then I will come here and select my choice independence and good supervision as my moderator variables. And I will click next. And then I will go to my interaction terms and, and then I will select them. And, and then I will, I will click OK. So, so you can see now that I have how many models i have four models model one two three and and then four so the model one are the control variables or confounding variables the model two is the independent variable the model three uh are the uh the moderator variables the model four are the interaction terms so you can see the model summary okay and then you can see the, the 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 ANOVA and then you can see the coefficients which are the main result of our study. Some people usually go to report the result of ANOVA here as multiple linear regression or multiple regression result. That's not really uh, what you should report. The focus here should be to tell us the model summary because we are interested in the R square, probably adjusted R square, and then the the result of the F. Okay, let me make you have the result of the F uh let's say i want pseudo r square um let's say collinearity diagnostics and then we run the analysis so you can see now so we have the uh the change statistics so we have the f change and so on and then f statistic uh results so here is our focus the next focus is the coefficient table so people we simply go and report the ANOVA of the a linear regression without reporting the coefficient. No, we want to see the, the individual uh, results of your re, of your regression analysis. So you see the result of the model one for the hierarchical regression. So I hope you learned how you can compute your variables when you want to create interaction and then go on to test your um, the moderator, the interaction between the moderator variable and the independent variable on the dependent variable. Okay, so that's that is the essence of this video today, and I hope you learn something new today. If you like this tutorial, please share and then give it a thumb up so that when um, I create a new video, you'll be able to learn. And then at this point, you should be able to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.